professor or whatever you're called. I want you to start talking because your evil deeds have been exposed. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me even shock you the more. We have your accomplice. The boy you send around town killing people. Which means you are not just a murderer, you are also a cultist. So stop talking, else we'll be forced to take this murder beyond your territory. Uh, uh, officer, officer, please, please do me, please do me, please, I beg of you. My career is at stake here. Please, I beg of you. Officer, we can talk this out. We can. I can give you money. I said to you, please, I beg of you, it's not happening, please, please, because we sit as men, I fought so hard to get this professorship, I fought hard, please don't let me lose it, I beg of you, look at my age, oh, you me. forgot about that, while you were messing around with young girls, and getting them laid, after being paid a lot of money, but, you beat the fool and support them to this society. Exactly. That is what you are. It wasn't me. I did not know what I said. Exactly. That's what you are. It's not me. That is not even all. Some of the young students confessed that you extorted money from them all in the name of wanting to help them. And you must go in for it. I assure you that. So stop talking now. Else, I'll force the truth out of you. I see you are not ready to talk. Yeah, I'll force the truth out of your mouth. Officer, get me the player. You know, you have, you have very high taste, and I want to take my time to ensure that those chairs come just the way you want it. Well, uh, I thank you for your commitment, Peter. Thank you, sir. Yes, uh, I'm glad you know I have high taste. Indeed. Of course, it's obvious. I need those chairs there. I want your I know. up to taste. <laughs> okay, now you have no problem. Anyway, I will operate from this place for now uh -huh. until it is ready. Once it's ready, then we can move into the place. Okay. Well, I've been meaning to ask you. What's the secret behind this freshness that you have across? Honestly, I've been looking at it. Even Professor Matthew did and left. Yeah, you know, come on. Are you sure you really want to come? Not. Well, you see, you see, if I were you, um, I will use this office, my position, um, to get what I want from the students. It is what we call good SMS. Good SMS? Mm. You see, Prof, for your hard work, you will educate them. But for your soft work, um, the students will have to be committed to you financially or otherwise. Yes, um, whether male or female. Oh, come on. So be diplomatic about it. Just come out with it. Mm -hmm. eh? Come on directly with it. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Prof, in this school, we have so many beautiful and young girls parading themselves around. Prof, there are those that are very sound academically. But then there are those that are very weak when it comes to their study. You see, you can use your office eh, as a viable means of becoming richer mm. by influencing those that are weak you make them become strong and those who think that they are sound academically you can now make them come to you begging for more grades for <laughs> more grades <laughs> that is good as a mess mm -hmm. you are a terrible big sir <laughs> <laughs> 
So now you know, you asked, and I've answered your question. But don't worry, you will enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds too good to be true, but attractive enough to say it is better than where I'm coming from. My uncompleted house project is there. It's also an opportunity to deliver my wife from that dying car. But can this game work? I need to tread with care. Any mistake will ruin my career. <laughs> I know. Peter. Peter. Look, bro. I am very certain that we will I can feel it in my bones. I have done this for other occupants of the seats, bro. Hmm? Peter, Peter, you know that the stakes are high. I know that the reward is high, but so are the risks. Have a good career ahead of me. Any mistake will ruin that career. See, nobody is asking you to meet the students directly. Allow Peter, allow me be your boy. Eh? Let me run this package for you. And you'll be so shocked with the returns I'll come back with. <laughs> Peter, Peter, Peter. Just give me your blessings and that is all. <laughs> bless me, let me bless you if I can return. <laughs> <laughs> ah, probably you have no trouble at all. Uh, so, just bless me. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is remarkable. Oh, you almost killed me. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. oh God, look, let me tell you something. You see, now that you have done this, you've made me happy. All that is remaining is just uh, the 150,000 I've talked about. And you have what you want. What? But this was not our agreement. So that you need to understand how these things work. Oh. Eh? I'm not the only one involved in this. There are some persons I need to settle. Hmm? Look, I made you a promise. I will sneak out your exam papers. Eh? I will make corrections. Make sure you have A. And I will sneak it back in. Eh? All I'm asking for is just 150,000 and, and more sex. And more bedtime. You are you are sweet. I'm telling you. Do you know what you're saying? Some bedtime with 150,000 naira. Baby, which is more easier? Eh? Which is more easier and more riskier? Let me ask you, do you think it's easy for me to sneak into that office and sneak out your files? Eh? Make sure you, you have a good grade and write everything and sneak it back inside for nobody to catch me. Eh? And what I'm asking you for, you should know now. Why, why are you sounding like it's this? Okay, it's okay, yours. Mm? It's okay, yours. It's okay. I will oblige to your request, but you have to fulfill your own part. Look, you don't have any problem. I'm a man of my words. Eh? As long as you give me more sex. What? Please, just... What is it? I'm tired. Can you be tired now? I mean, I'm not tired. I'm tired, please. Don't worry, I'll give you the 150,000 naira. And more sex, so... Let more me what? Let me allow you to mm -hmm. rest. Eh? You should have said that now. Eh? My waist even need to rest, so you almost killed me. Ah! Ah, uh, Peter. Hi. Ah, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Sweet hands. You have your A. It's not A you want. A, A, A. You have your A's. A plus. And just keep. <coughs> Sir, I know I can count on you. I was advised to see you. Like, you're the only one that can help me out with my credit comments. Mm. What's that name again? Sandra Phillips, sir. I see. So you mean he gave you an F for missing his exams? No, he did. I made a short trip. I stayed like a week or something. Then I was supposed to come back the day before the exam. But then I missed my flight. I see. And you also gave him money. I mean, tip. And he refused the money and he failed you. Yes, sir, he did. 
what you should have known that that man is a very strict man. Hmm? He doesn't accept bribe from any student. Hmm? You should have known. Sir, so on our side now. Please help me. You know, this is my final year. I can't afford any sleep -out. My dear, the very fun with you, this is your case is a very critical one. Hmm? A very serious one. You actually missed an exam. It's not like the usual one that we, I, I, I help people. This one is, is very hard. Hmm? It's very hard. And you're a beautiful girl. Hmm? What do I do now? What do I do? You know what? Hmm. I will help you. Hmm. Don't worry, you won't have any sleep ups. Right? By rolling, you can activate code SMS. You don't have any problem. Sir, so at this point, I'm actually ready for anything, anything at all. What is my girl? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> the price is just uh, because of the way we've been talking now. Uh, because someone else, I will charge her. Uh, uh, I will collect 200,000 from you. Uh, because it's you, not because I uh, because it's you. I will, I will take more, but because I, uh, and I just I want to help you. 200,000. That's why I thought there's no problem more. Uh, if you're making fun. This is 100,000. This is another 100,000. Shut up! I can't believe this. Why have you been all this way? Look, see, he found you. He gave you, he wanted to give you triple A. You would you, 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 you not fail. Look, you would not fail. I am assuring you, you will have triple A's. Sir, mm. even if it's sex you want, I'm available and ready 24-7. Anytime you want it, just call me. Okay? My hotel is actually free for us, so anytime you want it, just call me. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Where have you been? Where have you... Hey! Peter, you are blessed too. Thank you. Mm? <laughs> Thank you, you have no problem at all. My name is Peter. Mm? I have said it, I will do it. Tell your friends about me. Mm? No Don't worry, you will pass. You will pass. Just go and sleep. Eh? Don't worry. <laughs> hmm. So that is it. Too. Try, maybe you told me why you asked me to come visit you in your house. <sighs> Father, look, you are a very beautiful girl. Hmm? Look, I discovered that three of your exam sheets are missing. Three. And I thought it is right if we come home and talk about it. What? No. Three of my scripts. But how is it possible? I am telling you that three of your exam booklets are missing. You are telling me how. That means zero. You will not have any score. And when you are in your hundred level, how you begin really matters. Yeah? And you're not from a very brilliant family. And out of pity, I want to help you. All you will do is have fun with me. Fun? What kind of fun? <laughs> Why are you talking as if you are a baby? Are you a baby? How old are you? From seven to <laughs> Girls of 15 years old know this kind of lines where they made from me. I'm just 17 years old now. Why are you looking like a child now? Hmm? Sweet hands. Baby, look. Have fun with me. Come on. Have sex with me. No. Come on, let's have sex together. I'd rather go and see Prof. Oh. You'd rather go and see Prof. And by cutting. No problem. I will not stop you. Go and see Prof. Be rest assured that going to see Prof, you will need to do a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And you know you don't have the money. Your family are very poor. 150,000? Yes. Well, I don't have up to 10,000. What? Say the same thing. Your family can barely even feed in school. We're talking about 100. Look, my love. Hmm? Look. Hmm? Come to me. Could I come? Hmm? Come. No, please, sir. I can't. Come. It won't take long. I'm telling you, it will not take long. Don't you want to? Look, if you don't do this thing with me now, telling you, that this kid will resurface himself. Unless I am not Peter. What are you begging me for? Don't you want to pass? Eh? No, don't want to pass. Sir, please. Don't please me. Don't please me. Don't please me. Don't please, me. please, me begging you to please. I need to help you. You have to pass. You need to pass. <laughs>
Look, Patrick, I understand what you are trying to say, but you have to play by the rules. This is what other students are doing. Uh, look, I, I want to help you. Peter, how much will it cost me? Uh, you see, every man has its price. It depends on what you are How doing. much? Hundred thousand naira. Hundred what? No way. Wait. Do, do, do you think I'm charging you so much? What kind of now, Patrick? There are two of you in the coffin days. It is fifty fifty thousand naira each. On a very good day, I take one fifty for what I'm giving to you for fifty thousand naira. Because we we kind of know ourselves. Don't be raising your voice and people think I do something. You don't like it. Too. On a very good day, we kind of know. Let me show you something. On a very good day. I had to sneak out from his office. But by the time I finish with the right thing, I will put it back out from his office. I know what I'm doing. Me, I want to help you. Me, I want to help you. The thousand naira is not too much. Okay. Mm. Look, my dear. Intelligence is not the only thing you need to have a pass mark. There are other variables attached to it. Mm. You are a beautiful girl, you should know better. Sir, I've told you time and time again. There is no way I will sleep with you for any reason. And I will not pay money for Max. Look, I will only give you 20,000 and I will demand that the proctor. Please. Yes. Look, okay. Let me be very sincere with you. Look, twenty thousand naira is not enough. It's not. It's not enough. Oh, please, sir, don't ask for more. Oh, you think I'm asking for so much? Yes, you are. Don't worry. By the time your answer booklet falls in the hands of Professor Johnson, then you will come back to me begging with more money. And with sex. By then, I'll be the one telling you no. Don't worry. Look, you don't scare me with those threats of yours, okay? And now listen, if I have anything less than an A in that course, you're not only going to give me back my money, but you see the other side of me. I mean the very worst side of me. Excuse me. So you are indirectly threatening me. Hey, someone's a hard nuts to crack. All I do is turn her. Here's this one really well. These two notes are there. What's wrong with you? No, I'm not going to do that. No, please, sit down, sit down, sit down. What is it? Look, please, please, sit down. I'm so screwed. Huh? I told you you have a missing script. I'm still marking. I've not even pasted the results of the department. So how can you have a missing script? This was from, from the admin department. Mr. Peter told me. He, he showed me the compiled list of the results and I couldn't find any mark against my 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 course for O one. I I thought I would fall the it's still over, sir. Listen, yeah, you need to stop crying now. You need to stop crying. And why would Peter do such a thing? Right? Or do you have any differences? Uh, I, I guess because he demanded for sex from me, which I refused. He even said I should give him 20,000 naira, which I did. took 20,000 naira from me? Yes, for what? Uh, he even showed me a list of other students that he, he, he collected. One hundred and fifty thousand naira each from and even slept with with them. I I, I had to work out the conversation when the threat was too much for me, sir. What? This is outrageous. We one hundred and fifty thousand naira from each student. Yes, sir. And it's come down to twenty thousand naira from you. Yes, sir. Oh, Peter. Peter. <laughs> Please have to help me. Can't I put this bill over? It's okay, stop crying now. Stop crying. Just stop crying. Peter. This Peter. 
was thinking is smart. He returns 50,000 naira to me. The time he collects, he holds her 50,000 naira. He returns to me. He even had sex with them. This Peter was thinking is smart. He returns 50,000 naira to me. When he collects 150,000 naira from each student. Peter, <laughs> you have overstepped your boundaries. You have crossed the limit by putting your personal interest first. Oh yes. The whole campus have their eyes on you. But, but sir, all these are rumors. Eh? I did not collect such a ridiculous amount of money from any student. Oh, spare me that excuse. They had you recorded. Your discussion was recorded. Your insatiable sexual desire has put you in trouble. It is now like a disease that has gone viral on campus. And it is a disease that must be flushed out immediately. Listen, I have one instruction for you. You must stop this your intermediary role. Don't go to anybody on my behalf. Don't. Sir. And a hey, good SMS must stop. Now. Sir, sir, please. Oh, please. Listen, if you don't, I may have to penalize you myself. Hmm? Oh, yes. You heard me. I will not repeat myself. Get out of my office. Sir? Leave my office now. waste my time coming here to tell you this. Your life is at stake. He meant everything he said. I know him very well. You said he collected a hundred thousand naira from you. Yes, he did. Hundred thousand naira from you. How would you like to have a B in all your courses? I still have the hundred thousand naira back. As far as I can, until I leave this school. Good.
That's interesting. So, you're a student of this faculty? Yes, I am. Full-time or part-time? Oh, I'm, I'm a part-time student, sir. Oh, I should have known that. That's why I don't see you around more often. Um, but I do see you, sir. Whenever I come for lectures in one of the classes, mm. I, I do see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, so, um, that means you work. I mean, do you work. That's um, why you're doing part-time. I, I used to work, sir, but I, I lost my job recently when the new management that took over insisted on having graduate staffs only. Um, that's motivated me to upgrade myself. Ah, well, uh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, so, how are you coping? <laughs> it's not been easy, sir, but I do cope. Now I'm coping with the little I was able to save while I was working. Well, I think uh, you came in at the right time. I may have to find a job for you in my faculty. Uh, when I get to my new office, I'll be needing an admin staff to replace the one I had before. So, you have an opportunity. I do have a job. <laughs> at least that will help you put a lot of things together. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Look, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Thank you so much, sir. Well, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I think um, it should be ready by next week because there are some renovations in the new office. And, uh, you'll resume next week. Okay. Yes. Oh my God. Thank you, sir. Thank you for all this means to me. I'm grateful. Oh, <laughs> um, sir. All right. Let me take my name now. Next week. Next week. <laughs> God bless you, sir. Uh, Have a nice day. You too. <laughs> Question I give to them. They can't even answer the questions. Oh. Oh, too many factors. Just too many factors. But the worst is that they're never attending a class. And of course, how can they be when they're always clubbing and culting and their quest for money? Well, it's over the top. The authorities have to do something about this. My dear wife, the best I can do is to bring it up in our next meeting. But honestly, the trend is alarming. That's what I Molly, there's this girl in our choir. I want you to help her get her mission into school. Please. My wife, I'm picking up the lady. I don't know what to call you. Mother Christmas? <laughs> okay, ask her to come to office too. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, sweetheart, I hope she made the jam cut up mark. I think she said something like that. I'll find out. Okay. You're the young lady from the church. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, okay, sit down, sit down. Thank you very much. Um, Tonya, did you make the jam cut off mark? Yes, I did, sir. It's the school's internal exams I'm having issues with. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, that's not a problem. But it's not something we can discuss and conclude here. You will meet me at Camp St. James Hotel, 7 p.m. tonight. Hotel? 7 p.m.? Yes. 
7 p.m. sir. Yes? Do you have a problem with that? No. <laughs> no, no, sir. Great. Come some gems. 7 p.m. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. to say thank you for the help we offered her. Oh, okay. She's a smart girl. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks. I'll be going now, sir. Okay. Darling. Yes. Oh, yes. She's a very smart girl. Uh, I'm even thinking of using her to replace Becky. Becky is very lazy. I'm happy to hear that.
much rubbish is this? After all the corrections I made, you couldn't even infect the corrections? You are just good for nothing. Ordinary exams you couldn't even pass from diploma to main course and you work in this office. Huh? What's wrong? I will soon do away with you from this office. Listen, I was the one who personally employed you in this office and I know how much I'm paying you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the mistake. I'm going to correct it, sir. I'm extremely grateful you gave me this job. Please, I don't take it away from me. I need your help, please. You help yourself. You know what to do to help yourself, but you have blatantly refused to cooperate with me. All I hear from you is, I have a fears. I have a fears. I'm going to get married. I don't know what to do. I'm engaged. Very soon, you will bring that your fiance to write your exams unless you have to go Get out of my office. Come on. I'm so sorry, sir. But I'm telling you the truth. I do have to. Oh, shut your mouth. Shut up. I don't want to hear it again. Let me tell you something. If you do not go with me to that hotel, you will get your fiance to employ you and pay you what I am paying you. Now get out of my office. Come again. I repeat again. If you don't go to that hotel with me like I have always insisted, you will get your fiance to pay you. I said, get out of my office. Was the same prof who frustrated me out of the university because I refused to yield to his request. That day I was going back, I swore I would get back at him. Now it is my fiance. It will never happen. This will never happen. Sorry. What is 
wrong with you? I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. Go. Let's watch the program, okay? I'm fine. Okay. So, who is our young banker lady going to leave all our money in the bank for when she's gone on course to London? Sir, I need your permission. Permission? Dora, you know that all my tests, assignments, course what? Must be put together with your exams for you to pass my papers. Anyway, you're a smart girl. You know what to do if you want to go to London. <laughs> Professor.
Whew. And this? You're a diamond. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, I like to like it. <laughs> Anything for you, Professor. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> not here. Why not? This is my office. We can't, we can't do this in this office. Well, <laughs> that's the reason I want this. It's going to serve its purpose. I've been waiting for this all this while. I didn't mean to badge in on you. It was unintentional. Hey, 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 hey! Does it look like I care about this, your tears? Hey, let me tell you something. You refuse to cooperate with me. And you wouldn't allow those who are willing to cooperate do their thing. No, you badge it. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Get out of my office. Please, I beg you. Get out of my office. I'm the breadwinner of my family. They need me. I need this job. Who gives a damn? Get out of my office. Please, don't be mean to me, please. Don't be mean to me, please. Get out of my office. Stupid thing. It won't me inside. Get out. Oh, God. Idiot. She won't give. She won't allow others to give. And then they have added all the extra part-time classes too. It's not like it was before. I'm now a full-time professor and that means more work. Is that right? Yeah. That will explain it. Where did you get that from? I found them in your suit pocket when you returned from work yesterday. That is not an answer. Come on, Ali. Don't tell me you're suspecting me. Because if you do, I will really be disappointed. I got them from the students who were making out behind the classroom yesterday. What do you mean? Ali, I just told you I got them from some of those students who were making out behind the class yesterday. And when I caught them, I sent them to the appropriate authorities for discipline. These students, this is why they are not passing. Just throw that away.
we are clear now. Oh my god. Is that Hello, beauty. Oh, where are you going? Can I take you? No, no, sir. I'm just going home with my brother. Oh, your brother? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, it doesn't matter. Both of you can come in. Okay. Um, well, we're just going home here. Uh, but since you insist, no problem. Okay. Come in. Well, my name is Professor Johnson. May I know you? Well, my name is Tony and um, my kid sister, Florence. Oh, Florence and Tony. What lovely names. <laughs> Listen, um, I don't mean to be too forward, but the weather is really hot and I think we should stop for a drink somewhere. And that's if you're not in a hurry to go. Um, um, well, we're actually not in a hurry, we're just going home. Sis, what do you think? Brother, there is no problem. Okay, so let's just go and have uh, one or two. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Let's <laughs> go. Uh. I don't know what has become of the weather these days. The weather is so, so oh, hot. Very hot. So hot. Well, that's why I said we should take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, Thank my you. God, yeah. You wish there's the same kind of stress of uh, standing under the sun there. Yes, especially because of the young lady, you know. <laughs> a pretty young lady like that cannot just stand under the sun. <laughs> You're done for the day, right? Yeah, I'm done for the day. I yeah. just want to do one or two things. It's okay. <laughs> um, Prof, I want to ask you a very important favor for me. Favor? Well, it depends on the kind of favor you want me to give to you, but if it's within my jurisdiction, why not? I will oblige you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Prof, um, my sister here, the past three years, has been trying to gain admission into the university. Oh. So, Prof, I don't know if you can actually use your office to, to assist her. I mean, I'm very glad, I'm very happy to see my sister succeed. <laughs> anyway, nobody would like such a pretty girl to stay out home and just waste. Uh, she has the right qualifications, why not? I'd always oblige her. <laughs> so, um, like I said, you've not asked her this. So just ask her to come and see me tomorrow. 7 p.m. Oh, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you. Thank well, you so cheers. much. <laughs> cheers. 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 Cheers, sis. Cheers again. Oh, you, you didn't cheers me well. <laughs> Just follow the instructions I've given to you, okay? Okay, brother. I understand the evil. But, brother, please, make sure you call me. 
You don't need to be scared. You have to watch your back. Just make sure you have your bunch of time before you go. Alright? Okay. I have it here ready. That you have on. Don't worry, don't worry. All right, I'll close my eyes. They are closed. Your eyes closed. Oh, yeah, they are closed. Come on. Okay. Hold it. I'm coming, darling. Professor? Wherever you are, please. I beg of you, take it to speak to us. Save me from this embarrassment, please. My profession, my family. Please, my reputation. I beg of you, please. I will do anything. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Johnson, talk about me. Reputation. Do you have any? You know about all your escapades in school. All of them. He forcefully slept with the jambite girls before processing the admission into the school. You know about all of them, Professor. Interesting one, Professor. Cheating on your own very wife. I think your wife will be very interested to hear about this. My family out of me. Brother, look at him. He's crying. He 
days, let's give him a memory card. Then we can give him our condition. Well done, Professor. I'm only going to give you. Keep quiet. I'm only going to give you this memory card on one condition. I promise to stop harassing innocent girls in the institution. Collecting money from them either for marks, admission, or whatever. I promise. Very well then. One very last thing. My man of my word. I will hold you by the word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have ruined your life and your career by yourself. Mm. As it is now, we are taking you to face your school ceiling. Ah. To them ah. at large. Ah. You will have to face them. <laughs> if you want me to do that, I will do that for you, please. Not the school ceiling. Not, Not the school. school. Please, my career. I want to have to be professor. Not the school. I beg of you. Please, my career. Ah. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news Professor Johnson of the Federal University of Technology has been arrested for sexual harassment and attempted rape of female students. His appointment has also been terminated following reports and evidence of feminist illegal deals in the school. In a related development, two students, Tonya Belloon and Ben Silas, who were fraudulently admitted by the professor, have also been fished out and subsequently rusticated. Information reaching our studios revealed that one Miss Dora Morgan of African Trade Investment Bank has also been relieved of her job following the professor's.